Hello. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the bottles that we're currently using with uh, Sebastian. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Sebastian was born with a cleft in the soft palate, uh, which means that he has a small opening on the very back of the roof of his mouth. So the original bottles we were given at the hospital were the Med Johnson and the Haberman Medela Specialty Feeder. The Med Johnson is probably our least favorite bottle and the bottle that we used the least. The feature on this is that the bottle is made out of a material that you can actually squeeze it, uh, which helps you assist getting the milk out and so the, like, so the baby can eat it. Um, the nipple part is a pretty like thin one, it's pretty regular. It does not have a valve, um, it's just pretty much the nipple and the bottle. Uh, and it's also one of the more affordable ones. The, the pro on this bottle is the simplicity of it. You simply just kind of have to squeeze it um, in, in a rhythmic way as the baby is drinking. And I really like that because it doesn't have any additional valves or things like that. It's also very easy to clean. Um, the second bottle we used was the uh, um, Medela Haberman, um, also known now as the specialty feeder. Uh, this is the bottle that we preferred and we used the most up until last week, so up until really, really recently. Um, it has two different chambers, which uh, allows the milk to kind of go into the top chamber, so um, there's um, less air <laughs> intake as the baby is sitting. And it also has a one-way bulb in the middle, so it allows the top nipple to fill up. And then this part of the nipple has a material, it's like a silicone that you can squeeze it and then that way, the same way as uh, Meet Johnson, you can kind of assist the baby uh, while he's eating. The, the valve is, is pretty simple, it just kind of has a, like a two piece, like a, a, a little membrane that you can um, buy replacements off and you just kind of like pop it in um, and then, you know, just place it in the feeder. But uh, the really, really good part of it is that it lessens the air intake, which if you have a baby with a cleft, they're more likely to intake air, which causes a lot of um, gas pains. And the nipple part also has three different flow speeds that you can adjust according to the baby. It has a fast speed, fast speed a middle speed, and a pretty slow speed. The nipple part has a slit in it that as you're adjusting the speed, um, it opens in different ways and that's the way that that works. So this was our favorite, favorite bottle. Um, also because I, I use the um, Adela pumping style breast pump. So um, because it's all basically the same brand, I was able to use the same bottles to pump into and then just store and then just put the nipple on top and that was just really handy for us to use them. Another con from the Medela specialty feeder is that the nipples break pretty quickly, especially if the baby is strong enough to be able to bite on it pretty hard. And also because the, the shape of the hole is not really a hole, it's a slit, it's a lot easier for the slit to just kind of rip on each end and become like way wider. So once that happens and it starts ripping, um, the milk flow pretty much just becomes, you know, too much and it would cause Sebastian to literally just start choking up on the milk. So we had to switch him. So the third bottle we use is the newbie bottle. We got these bottles at our baby shower and they're definitely not a specialty feeder, but they, we were able to use them um, not right away, but once Sebastian was a little bit stronger and um, was able to bite down, um, he was actually able to use these bottles. So this one again doesn't have any type of membrane, it's just a nipple and the bottle. Um, however, the, on the nipple part, instead of just having a hole, it has kind of like um, a star-shaped hole. So as the baby is bites on this, it opens the hole way more than just a hole. Does that make sense? <laughs> So as the baby bites down on the nipple, it opens it up way more than a hole would just because of the, the shape of the star. Um, it also has like a little bit of texture here and I noticed that Sebastian does like that because I don't know if he's teething yet, but it, it feels like it, it seems like it, but he seems to enjoy enjoy that little extra perk. The newbie also, the, a big pro for me was that it had a top for it. The other two specialty feeders that we had don't, don't come with a top for it. And especially the Medela, if he had like a half full bottle and we had to put it back in the bag or put it anywhere, 
if for whatever reason it got squeezed a little bit, it spilled a little bit. And if you're using breast milk, that's just like a headache, you know? But this one comes with um, a cap. So that was like really, really handy for me. So the last bottle that we've been using is the Dr. Brown's, I believe it's a specialty bottle. It came out pretty recently and actually the only reason I found out about it is because one of Sebastian's specialists called me to let me know that it came out. Uh, so she sent me one right away for me to try. And uh, this is the only specialty bottle that actually comes with a cap. So I really, really, really love that and it definitely comes in handy. So the cool thing about this bottle is that it kind of has, it's like the mix between a regular bottle and the Medela Specialty Feeder. Um, it does have the one-way valve in the middle, but it doesn't have like the big chamber in the top that you can squeeze. So because Sebastian is now stronger, um, we were, I, I felt like we weren't even needing to squeeze it in the Medela. So a change into this one, it wasn't that big of a that big of a switch. The Dr. Brown's bottle also has their famous air filter um, which reduces the oxification that happens in the milk while the baby's drinking and it also reduces that vacuum effect that bottles get when the you know as they're taking the milk out. So it comes with that um, and then the little um, one-way valve is the blue part right here. But on the nipple part, um, it's it's pretty similar to all of the Dr. Brown's nipples, but this is the, the one-way valve and you pretty much just kind of like pop it in, in there and then just, you know, use it as a regular bottle. So once again, the valve allows the milk to fill up in the top part of the nipple and because it can't get back, it, go, it can't go back in the bottle, it creates a little bit more pressure. So as the baby is biting down on this, the milk is able to come out. And the good thing about this bottle is that uh, as opposed to the Medela feeder, in this one, we are the ones controlling the flow as we're squeezing. In the Dr. Brown's bottle, the baby's pretty much controlling the flow, um, you know, as much as he needs. The cons about the Dr. Brown's bottle is that um, I have noticed that no matter how new the nipple is, when, you, when it has milk in it, it has a constant drip. So if Sebastian it falls asleep while drinking, um, he he doesn't really choke on it, but he starts coughing, um, just because you know the drip is pretty much continuous. And I, at first I thought it was maybe that he had already bitten through the nipple or something, but um, it doesn't matter how new the nipple is. That seems to be you know a part of the design that it's it's just like the hole's a little bit bigger. So there's that. So oh, another con that I've noticed from the Dr. Brown's bottle is that I have noticed that the valve in it becomes pretty loose pretty quickly. We've only been using these bottles for a week and um, I already noticed that one of the valves became pretty loose and you can pretty much just test it with like a light squeeze and it pops out. So what you want is like if you're squeezing it, it sh the valve shouldn't pop out. So this one is a, it's a little bit tighter because it's newer. Um, this one we've been using for a week. And you can see that you know as soon as you squeeze it it comes out so because it becomes so loose so quickly um it's, it just basically stops working right the whole point of the one-way valve is that the milk doesn't go back in the bottle but if it's at this point that it's this loose then it starts going back in the bottle uh it doesn't mean he can't use it because he still drinks out of it it's just a little bit more difficult Another cool thing about the Dr. Brown's bottles is that the replacement parts are a lot, a lot cheaper than the Medela Specialty Feeder. We were able to get six of the nipple replacements and three valves for around $12. So that was, you know, pretty shocking and it's a definitely a pro on the money side. Um, and then did I mention it comes with a cap? Yes. yes. I love, I love, I love the caps. And also because I started getting really paranoid of like putting the bottles without a cap even in the bag or having it around because I don't know what it's touching. So I, I found like a small Ziploc bag that would kind of fit the top of this and I was being really ghetto and just putting Ziploc bags on top of the bottles just to kind of keep it somewhat sanitary. So having the tops, the caps is, you know, great. So these are the four bottles that we have used um, up until this point, but I feel like we're always open to trying new things just because um, we having a cleft baby we really have to think 
outside of the box and just go with what is best for him and what he likes uh, better so we're always trying new bottles see um, seeing what he likes so if you know of a bottle that works for you um, please let us know we're always really open to trying new things I hope you like this video I'm gonna try to uh, do a couple more videos talking about you know what clef related things we have or we use on Sebastian so um, if you like this video give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel um, and again, if you have any comments or any suggestions um, or you want to share any of your Clef Baby experiences, please do so uh, in the comments below. Uh, we would love to hear from you.